Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, thanks again for for joining and watching this video. We have six TTM returns, and uh, all these have a card that I won in the Wave of Cards uh, 2004 um, Legends Timeless Teams break. I'll include the link in there. It was a very cool break, really fun, and. Uh, I was able to get some really great cards that were just great for TTMing. So I'm glad I got these back. And this was the ultimate pull that I got from that uh, break. Freaking, oh, sweet card. Rest in peace, sir. Love it. Looks great. So um, a lot of the cards do look like this. Uh, they have these memorable moments. And then they have a little write-up in the back there. I'm going to take a look. So let's get to it. We have six returns. And our first one is a one of one, 30 days. This one was $5 per. And this Hall of Famer was inducted in 2008. He was a nine-time All-Star. He is the furthest thing from what closers are today. Um, he has 310 career saves, which was fourth all-time when he retired. Uh, but get this. He recorded four or five outs in 68 of those saves, six to eight in 101 of them, and nine or more in 24 of them. It's amazing. Uh, you'll never see that again in a closer. In a closer. <laughs> a closer. Amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah, and you probably figured out who that is. There he is. Mr. Rich Goose Gossage. And there he is on the 2004 Legends Timeless Teams card with the Yankees. And there's the back there. If you want to read that. Awesome. Signature looks great on there. So thank you so much, Mr. Gossage. We've had the pleasure of meeting him at the Hall of Fame a couple times. Great guy. Really uh, down to earth and uh, a pleasure to talk to. So thank you very much, sir. Sir, it is much appreciated. All right, next up, this is a two of two, 24 days, and this was $10 per. So this uh, next Hall of Famer was inducted in 1990. Uh, Six-time All-Star and three-time World Series champ. Uh, in his first World Series in 1966, he started Game 2 as a 20-year-old. He would go on to win that game and beat Mr. Sandy Koufax 6-0. to zero. I use that term uh, beat loosely, <laughs> as does this pitcher. Uh, the Dodgers made six errors that game. Uh, it would be Mr. Koufax's last game pitched. And according to this pitcher, winning pitcher, he didn't beat Koufax. <laughs> Willie Davis beat Koufax. <laughs> uh, in case you're wondering, that was a Dodgers center fielder. Uh, for the record, Mr. Davis was a heck of a ball player, um, actually hitting over, having over 2,500 hits for his career and a 297 career batting average. So he was a very, very good player. And this pitcher, as you may have guessed, Mr. Jim Palmer. And there he is on the... Timeless Teams card, 2004 upper deck, 1969. And there's the reverse. There's one. And the second one is this Sport Kings patch card. Looks great. 2018. So very cool. Glad to get that back as well. Thank you, Mr. Potter. I appreciate you taking the time to sign. This is very, very appreciated. And... Uh, then that was a two of two, like I said, 24 days. That was from Santa Ana, California, and Goose from Colorado, as everyone knows. All right, this next one is also from Santa Ana, California. Two of two, seven days, and this was $5 per. And this next pitcher was a two-time All-Star and back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back World Series champion. Uh, his nickname may have been thought to have uh, been given to him by the colorful owner of the A's during the 1970s, Charlie O., he did, after all, try to convince Vita Blue <laughs> to change his name to True Blue. Uh, but the moniker was actually given to him by a classmate uh, many moons before when he was in fifth grade. Uh, his classmate began calling him Moonhead, and a few days later, it evolved to Blue Moon. Uh, according to Johnny Lee Blue, Man, Blue Moon Odom, Blue Man, <laughs> at first he hated it, uh, but he grew to love it, he'd say. And here he is. There he is on the 1972 stop, uh, tops. There he is, John Blue Moon Odom. 
number 13. Came out great. We'll put that there. And then there he is on the timeless teams card. Came out great. Signatures look great on these cards. I love it. And there's the bo the back of the card. If you want to read it. This is number 13. Pitcher. So we'll put that. We'll put that there. Uh, interesting little uh, tidbit here. Speaking of Charlie O and how Odom became an ace player. Uh, Charlie O was a successful businessman who built a successful insurance business in large part due to his overwhelmingly persuasive personality. Um, he put this to work in, uh, <laughs> in courting uh, Mr. Odom's services. Uh, he knew competition from other teams would be fierce, so he personally flew to Macon, Georgia himself. He, wanted his, uh, his he waited his turn on the appointed day among scouts to make his pitch. Uh, he arranged for a truck to deliver <laughs> food to the Odom family. He met and charmed Odom's mom, Florine, at one point, going into her kitchen to help her cook. That's, <clears throat> and that's when um, Odom had the opportunity to deal with um, Finley directly rather than intermediaries, which contributed to Odom signing with the A's. Amazing. Odom was given a $75,000 bonus, the largest given to a black athlete at that time. It's shocking because Charlie O was a notorious cheapskate, not wanting to pay his players. So uh, it's pretty impressive. It's an impressive feat. That was a great uh, bonus for a, a fantastic player. So, Mr. Odom, thank you very much. It is much appreciated. Thank you for taking the time. All right, next up, we have a two of two, 17 days. This was also $5 per. This is out of L.A., California. Sorry, I was trying to, to rush through this. Uh, okay, this next picture also pitched for the A's, but just missed out on the dynasty years, uh, retiring after the 1971 season as a member of the Oakland A's. Uh, he was a two-time All-Star and an AL wins leader in 1965. His Minnesota Twins nearly beat the Dodgers in 1965, but lost in seven games. He was the first black American League pitcher to win 20 games in a season. That's awesome. And the first being Don Newcomb in 1951. As a member of the Dodgers, uh, Bob Gibson would a week, week or so later also become a 20-game winner in the NL, uh, the first of five seasons in which he'd accomplished that feat. This pitcher also wrote a book on the 15 black players to win 20 games in a season, and it's titled Black Aces, Baseball's Only African-American 20-Game Winners. That's awesome. Definitely a good book. And yes, <laughs> Chad at Cool Plastics. Our buddy Doc is in this elite group. And uh, I don't know if you see, but there's Doc in the background over there. There he is. Dr. Zen. And as you may have guessed, this picture is Jim Mudcat Grant. And there he is on the 72 tops with the, uh, with the A's. This is his final card. And there he is as a member of the Twins on the Timeless Teams upper deck card. Very cool. Signatures look great on the other uh, can. It's awesome. There's Mudkai Grant. 1965. <laughs> Fantastic season. So thank you very much, Mr. Grant. Thank you for taking the time. We appreciate it. All right, next up we have a two of two, 19 days. And this was $10 per out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And this next player, he was not a pitcher, but he did play for the A's at one point. Uh, he's a two-time World Series champ, both with the Pirates and the Oakland Athletics. He was a seven-time All-Star NL MVP winner in 1979, a three-time Gold Glove winner, three-time Silver Slugger Award winner, and a two-time NL batting champ. This baseball great could hit for power and average. He's also a member of the Reds Hall of Fame. Uh, the only thing missing on his resume, you guessed the MLB Hall of Fame member. Uh, this player <laughs> is also the very first player to win the All-Star Game inaugural Home Run Derby in 1985. The event was actually inspired by the 1960s televised event called Home Run Derby. Uh, I remember watching these reruns as a kid. I loved watching it, and it was, it's worth a watch if you've never seen it. It was awesome. I loved watching it. Oh, before I get sidetracked, the player, as you probably may have guessed as well, a few baseball aficionados, there he is. Mr. Dave Parker. There he is on the 81 flare. I like the autographs on the 81 flares. 
right there. And there he is. Oh, a timeless teams card. I got some ink on the back there. It's okay. 1979. We are family. So, Mr. Parker, thank you very much for taking the time. It is much appreciated. All right, and finally, we have a very cool return, a four of three. Uh, we sent $10. I think, I don't know, he, he may sign for free, but uh, we sent a donation in. Um, but it, he did send, we sent three cards. He signed them all, and he signed the index card for us, which was awesome. We really, really appreciate it. But uh, this next player, he was part of Harvey's Wall Bangers, the 1982 Brewers who made a uh, surprise visit to the World Series that year, uh, owned by Commissioner Bud Selig during that time. They were 23-24 in June and finished the season in amazing 95-67. and 67. It was a fun season. This team... <clears throat> This team definitely reminds me of the movie Major League. Um, the, definitely the underdogs uh, coming back and, and going all the way, but slightly different ending. Uh, this player helped to lead the charge for the Brew Crew, uh, an underrated player who had some monster seasons. In 1979, he had 45 homers with 123 ribbies. And in that magical 1982 season, he had 39 homers and 112 ribbies, leading the league in homers both those years. The Brewers lost in seven to the Cardinals, but are on their way into many... Baseball fans' hearts. This player was also an all-star in 1981, and I know the Sobrero family recently just got him back as well. I saw him in one of their, uh, their videos recently. And the player is Mr. Gorman Thomas. And there he is on the 81 tops. It's awesome. There he is on the 82 Dinos Diamond Kings. Very cool. And there he is on the Timeless Teams card. And there you go. That. We also sent his business card. Awesome. There it is. Put that there. And then he personalized the index card to my son. He's been helping out as well. There you go. Very cool. Very awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Gorman. I mean, Mr. Mr. Gorman Thomas, that is. Thank you so much to all the players. I really appreciate taking the time. And, of course, as always, I appreciate all of you taking the time as well to watch. Uh, hope you enjoy this. Uh, great, great return day. Uh, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't, hit that bell. And uh, thank you again. And uh, let's keep doing this. Thank you all. Take care. And uh, I'll see you next time. Be well.